Hi there, it's uh, Lodex over here, your art guru monster man, and I'm here narrating a uh, speed painting demo thingy. This is me painting that synthetica thing that you saw recently. Uh, this is my first go at this, so I'm going to be really rusty and bad, and so sorry about that. But I just thought I'd give it a go, because, you know, why not? Um, I've actually got a cold at the moment, so that's probably, hopefully not going to impact too much, but, you know, I might sound a bit funny every now and again. Um, yeah, hello, how's it going? I'm, uh, it's, what time is it? Do you even, probably don't even need to know, but it's 3.30 a.m., and this is what I wanted to do. Uh, yeah, so this guy is, um, he's a monster, well, he's a robot. Um, basically I'm just, uh, sketching it out, you know, uh, I usually, when I do speed paintings, I usually just start with shapes and stuff and try and be a bit more abstract, but this guy, I, I, I saw him going somewhere, and so I just started, just started sketching him and seeing what would happen. I really liked the pose, and so it all just came out, kind of, uh, came out of that. Um, uh, giving him lots of... I always love giving people spines because then, you know, makes them look scary. And scary stuff is nice. His, um, his posture and stuff, pretty good. Yeah, I'll, I'll, this is going to be an awful commentary, by the way. Um, but, you know, hopefully someone will find it useful, right? And I've got to get around to doing these sometimes. So maybe if I just do enough of them, I'll get good one day. Um, I am going to be doing a FAQ, a FAQ video, or a, you know, just a blog or something soon, explaining or like some stuff uh, pretty soon. If that, that it might already be up by the time you're watching this, but um, if it's not, then it will be coming your way soon. Because I've been getting some questions, and you know, facts, FAQs are where it's at. Um, so yeah, I probably I won't go into it now because. Otherwise, I'll be repeating myself a bit. And then you won't even check it out. And then I'll be like, oh, why didn't they check it out? Because you know what? Because you put it in this one. Mm, totally. Um, yeah. Giving him some more spine. Spineage. Spineage is good. I probably could have made this a bit faster. It's like 15 minutes. I don't know if I can go that long. We'll have to see. Um, yeah, sorry if I'm rambling too. Just uh, tell me if I'm rambling. Oh, wait, you're on a. You can't do that because you're watching a video. Mm. Yeah, I, um, I, I use a few different brushes. Um, as you can see, it's mainly just the one brush at the moment. I'll just use one brush for, um, like, drawing, it's this, um, I think it's by Adonis, Adonis, or how do you say that, I can't even know, but um, the amazing guy on uh, DeviantArt who does the, the that thing with the LMS, Kill Book of a Bounty Hunter thing, which looks awesome, um, but yeah, he did a brush pack, and it's really useful, um, some really nice brushes in there, like for painting, and everything really. Just check it out. Um, on my DeviantArt profile, I've actually got like just a really rough, like few brushes, the basics of the brushes I use, because really it it's not like essential to have like the same brushes. And I I got them all from other people anyway. So yeah, just go out there and find them, and get them. But yeah, if if you want, you can go to my even up profile and they'll all be there. Oh, I'm doing something. Um, here is me using gradients to make the forearm stick out a bit more than the background because things in the background have less contrast than things in the foreground. Yeah, see, you're learning something. There you go. Oh, and here is me saving my file. Probably could have cut that out, but just thought I'd leave it in. Wow. Okay, um, what's next? Doing a bit 
bit of, bit of highlighting, uh, glowing, I guess you could call it. Oh, little, little blooper there. That's one for the gag reel. Yep. Oh, we got some color happening. Okay, so here we go. Just having a play with all these crazy brushes that I've downloaded. I've downloaded like a bunch of brushes at the moment, as you can see, like textures and just crazy stuff. And I've just been mucking around with them and playing with them and making lots of cool, like, well, I think they're cool. They're kind of interesting paintings, like a challenge of just doing one painting, like the whole thing with just one crazy brush. I think that was on um, someone's blog. But um, yeah, it's a good idea because it challenges you to use the brush in ways you didn't think you could. So this is where all the layers happen. Um, I'm just, yeah, I need to cut down on my layers. I've been known to get up to like 200 layers or something and they're all unnamed and then when I have to, you know, separate things out, I have to go through them all and check out what's going on and oh it's a nightmare so yeah manage your layers or keep flattening your image and saving backups because it's not a very I don't know it, it could work if you're organized but I'm not so oh and here's some textures uh, again from DeviantArt I just searched textures and then went through and saw some cool ones and downloaded them textures are cool because you can just make things look a bit more finished but you know I've been guilty of this and don't like overuse them <laughs> as, I, as I'm saying that I'm um, you know using more and more textures but you know do you know who knows I should stop saying you know pardon me um, yes so just putting just having a play around with the different uh, layer settings really uh, different textures and then I've used a um, layer mask to uh, make that blue only visible on the bottom, kind of. Which, you know, you got to do a bit of that, otherwise all your textures will just be a bit messy. What am I doing now? A bit more details. Oh, look at all them lovely little wires everywhere. Yeah, I like this piece. It, Turned out nice. It's one of them, one of those happy accidents, I suppose you could call it. Now I'm just trying to make the guy's face pop a little bit, because faces are important. It's important to have a face. That is true. Um, it's got some nice spectacles on there. Goggles. Goggles? Spectacles? eyes, optical devices, but yeah, as you can see it's already a mess of layers, but with these quick speed paintings I usually just keep going until, you know, I get somewhere and then, you know, stop and don't do any more on it. Just do all of my go and just bam, get it done. But yeah, it's really good. Um, in my FAQ I'm going to do, I'm also going to, like, a big part of it is going to be um, just, like, recommendations of other amazing tutorials and, like, interesting resources on the web, because I'm still learning a lot myself. I've still got a long way to go, and, yeah, I'm, I'm by no means a pro. I just, I've done this a long time, and I'm going to be doing it a lot longer, so, yeah, but, um, I've been watching Torvenius a lot on DeviantArt, uh, DeviantArt and on YouTube, and he does daily speed paintings, which are really like impressive. And so a lot of the techniques you're seeing here with the um, page textures and like different levels and overlays and multiply layers and stuff, that's pretty much what he does, um, probably to a more polished degree, but I just, yeah. I'm, get, I'm getting the hang of it. It's it's getting there. Oh, it's looking nearly done, if you ask me. But I know what's missing. He's got some he's got some laser eyes coming up, I think. Sometime. 
and yep, just going crazy with the details. White highlights. <laughs> Great commentary, right? Yeah. You're welcome. I hope this is useful to someone. Maybe this will just be a practice, but either way, it's interesting. Uh, maybe I should just put this up anyway. Yeah, I do have a lot of um, speed paintings to get around to finishing. You know what the main thing that takes the longest is? Choosing the god dang music to put to it. Because, you know, I don't mind. I'm not going to get like billions and millions of views on my videos. And the main reason is I want them just to show off my art. So I don't mind using like licensed music that gets advertising from me because then, because then I'm advertising myself and also my cool taste in music. <laughs> Not really. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, here I'm just making the front arm pop even more by just going crazy with the with the mechanical bits. I haven't really talked much about the actual painting, have I? Pardon me. Um, yes. This is another brush from one of the um, brush packs you can get from Demon Heart. And it's on my DeviantArt profile. I think it's by... I don't know. I can't remember the name. <laughs> I'm so organized. But I'll... Maybe I'll put a link to this in the, in the description. I'll put a link. There you go. Uh, I got it out. Hmm. Yes, so... As we mentioned earlier, things in the foreground have the most contrast, and things in the background have less contrast. So that's what makes it look a little, a little atmospheric. And I'm still mucking around with that arm. I could have probably, could have probably gotten rid of some of those. Oh, as I was just saying that. Oh no, they're back. Yeah, I was, I was just thinking about getting rid of those black lines on his chest. And then, oh yeah, see, I'm just doing a bit of, a bit of highlighting to exclude the mouth, so you can see what the heck he's doing. That's a little bit of cheating, I guess, because. Uh, yeah. Well, I just wanted to, you know, pop his mouth out a little bit, and you can get away with it. It's speed painting. But yeah, there's no real light source coming from underneath him. So, well, I guess he's. Well, actually, yeah. There's a light behind him, so that's what's making a light on the contour. Quality commentary. Quality. Quality. Artistic advice from Master. Hmm. I wonder how sick I sound. My, my voice is probably quite quite deep. Oh, putting some red. <laughs> I should stop sounding so surprised. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I get to a point like this, and then I just spend like 20 minutes fiddling, probably. Like, just mucking around, trying to make it a little more sexy, I guess. So now I'm like, hmm, what can I do with these eyes? It's a bit of a space there I want to fill. And now come the laser eyes. It's quite quite dangerous, uh, quite a dangerous thing to put on a on a cyborg man. Laser eyes with all those wires around. I mean, gosh, goodness, he's gonna, yeah, watch out for them wires, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a nightmare. He's gonna be looking around, freaking cutting his wires all over the place. I would not want to be him in the morning. Let me tell you that. And all I did with the laser eyes was just scroll through the layers, the layer properties, I should say, and just see which one looked the coolest. Because, as I said before, happy accidents happen, and. If you just have a little play around, that's where the good stuff happens. Uh, fading out the, fading out the laser eyes a bit, make them disappear into the mist. Uh, what else? Oh, that's it. Okay, well, um, thanks a lot. I'll see you next time.